Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So today guys, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your domain controller, which is Windows Server 2003 to Windows 2008. So let's get started. So I'm running all this on a virtual machine. Uh, I got the uh, Server 2002, uh, Server 2003 CD. I placed it inside here and uh, I'm going to run a command prompt to get into my D because that's where the CD is at and I'm going to clear that out and I need to get into my I386 okay and I'm going to close this window back here now before I even run the command that I need to run which I'm going to show you guys uh, you guys need to make sure that your domain and forest are in the correct functional uh, level you need to raise those functional levels into Windows Server 2003 most likely your active directory is on Windows Server 2000 mix so that means you gotta raise it to 2003 so if you open up your active directory users and computers and you right click on your domain uh, node raise domain functional level you should get a drop down pick Windows Server 2003 you're good to go okay and for the forest, you go to your active uh, directory domains and trusts, open that up, right click and raise forest functional level. Make sure you know you get a drop down, pick server 2003 and raise that forest functional level. Once you do that, then you need to get into your CD I386 folder and run an AD prep.exe space. Uh, forest slash forest prep and hit enter and then you're gonna do a C and then hit enter to continue it looks like it went through with no problem excellent and the next one that you want to do is AD prep forest slash domain prep forest slash GP prep hit enter and it looks like it's been updated now because I'm on a virtual machine I am going to dismount my 2003 server CD and I'm going to put my 2008 CD press OK I'm going to close my command prompt and hopefully it will run which is a good thing and we're going to hit install all right, this is a good thing. Uh, it's mostly best practice to do uh, the latest updates and installation. But again, this is only for testing purposes. I'm not going to do that, so I'm, I'm going to say do not get the latest updates for installation. Once you get here, you pick the one that you want. I'm going to do standard because my, uh, my server 2003 was standard, so I'm going to keep it the same. And plus it was 86. So hit next. Accept the license and terms, hit next. And we want to do an upgrade, not a custom advance. We want to do an upgrade. We, we want to keep all the settings that the Server 2003 machine has. I got the directory, all the user accounts, DACP if you guys install it, DNS, all those goodies that you guys installed on the machine. Uh, it's giving you a report of uh, issues or warnings. And I'm gonna hit next. And we are back, guys. Yes, uh, the upgrading process with Server 2003 to 2008. It is a long progress. So um, most likely you just go and get a cup of coffee or go get lunch if you're doing this at work. So I'm gonna shoot a Control Alt Delete command to my BJ 2003 machine, which is not 2003 anymore. It's 2008. And let's log in. And that's it, guys. I am logged into my machine. It's configuring itself. It's pretty awesome. Most likely, if this was a domain controller, I will not be calling it BJ-2003. A lot of people like to do DC1, DC2. But it is fully upgraded, which I am satisfied. Uh, let me check my DACP. This is where you go in, check your Active Directory, and make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to look. Uh, the only reason I'm checking my DACP is because that's the only thing that I actually configured. I don't really have too many accounts within this Active Directory. Again, it's just a testing uh, uh, virtual machine. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this 
video please leave comments below please give me likes as well as the the very bottom of the video there's at the description part there is a bunch of links that you guys could go check out go check out my blog site uh, go check out my new technology forum uh, please follow me at Twitter at BJ Tech News and as well as go to my Facebook and show some love uh, hopefully I catch you guys later and peace out